what do we have here? A Cancept, the Pelican. I think it's a pretty cool knife, man. I like it a lot. Titanium frame lock. It's got real kind of, um, what would you call it? Industrial aesthetic. Uh, but then it's got, you know, this cool organic-y curved blade. Really good action. Real good. Kind of crazy good for a smaller knife. I mean, it's not really a small knife, but it's um, it's a front flipper. But man, I suck at front flipping it. And in part, it's because they don't have the front flipper area done right. I'm like right in the middle of reshaping it so that it's a little more, um, so it goes up a little higher on that piece. Anyway, it'll be a little better later. So I'm, I'm going to say that it's not much of a front flipper. It's not great at front flipping. Um, the detent could be a little lighter for front flipping too. Let's see. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. I can reverse flick it, so that means the detent's not too strong. I'll probably lighten it just a tad because I, I like to be able to front flip stuff. And this one just, it's not quite there. Um, size comparisons. Let's see. Here's a giant kitchen knife. Um, it's smaller. So I'm not sure how much help that is. I don't know why I even brought that out. It seems stupid at this point. Let's see, what's a better size comparison? What about a dollar store dollar knife, which is a um, Spyderco clone of a, a Delica? I don't know what it's a clone of, really. I don't know. It's not really a clone. It's a shitty copy, like a really bad. Look at this shit. It's amazing, the quality. I mean, it's a dollar. It was a dollar twenty-five. so, you know. It's a little bigger than the dollar store knife. Weighs about uh, four times as much. This one is not too far off. It's a Spartan Blades. Um, damn it, I don't remember the name, but pretty cool little knife. Yeah, pretty close to the same size. Um, this one's a lot lighter. It's got the uh, injection molded plastic handle. Uh, I think it's um, actually fiber reinforced nylon FRN. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool knife though. Definitely light duty, kind of in the vein of a, um, oh, a little Hogue Deca, kind of. Maybe a little smaller than a Hogue Deca, but not much. Um, right in that area. Here's a Cancept Goblin. Considerably smaller, right? Kind of the same wheelhouse of design aesthetic, though, right? Stop saying right. I sound like freaking Metal Complex. Left-handed, right? Pretty cool, but the one I thought was maybe the best comparison um, was the Rat 2. Now the Rat 2 is definitely not quite as tall, not quite as much beefiness to it, but really I think they're a pretty good match. Um, kind of the same tall flat grind, fairly good handle. Um, look like they're made for heavy use kind of situation you know this is a pretty heavy duty knife for being a little on the smaller side and same with this guy this thing is definitely a little tank it's take the rat 2 make it out of titanium and make it more of a tank uh, thicker heavier and give it a uh, funky uh, pelican head shaped blade i don't know if it looks like a pelican that's what they call it so i thought maybe it was supposed to Ergonomics are really good. Um, I have, you know, medium large hands or large, large-ish hands, and I can get a full grip on it, you know, because because my hands are right all the way up to that edge of the blade. You definitely don't want to get up any higher. It'll be a, uh, you know, having to put super glue on your finger right there. Um, I've carried it quite a bit, and it's, you know, it gets used. Ah, I wish I could front flip it, man. Soon I will be able to, I think, once I get done with my modifications. Or maybe I'll bring it back and show uh, after that. Very smooth, very drop shutty. I had a little little hiccup there from the, uh, it's got, you know, you could do it, you could say it has a tiny bit of a double clutch, but man, it's not much, because look, that's from there when it's locked to there where it hits the, the detent is not much. So as long as you get past that, it's fallen. Drop shutty. I think it's a really cool knife. 
I think Concept did a good job with it. Concept, whatever. What's the steel? S35, I think. Yeah. Um, pretty thick blade stock. Let's see. Let's compare it to that rat. Yeah, it's significantly thicker than the rat blade stock wise. Let's see. Yeah. A little taller in the blade, too, of course. But still pretty slicey, even though it's kind of a thick, thick blade stock because it's got a pretty tall grind. Now, this one's a coated blade. I'm not sure if they use a DLC or what their coating is, but it's pretty tough. It's got some discolorations on it just from getting weird different materials on it. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't come off, whatever that is. Whatever the heck I got on there. And titanium's coated, I think, with something. Yeah. But it looks cool. I like it a lot the way it is. Sometimes I'll, you know, polish these up and put some anno on them or something. But I think I might leave this one alone. You know, other than, of course, the top of the blade's going to be... Well, actually, I might take this pelican bill down just a bit. Uh, you know, I can't leave shit alone. So, it's just a little too humpy out there. I don't never really like that. Just that one little part right there of it. So that might go away too. And then hopefully it'll be a front flipper uh, a little better. But, you know, shit. If I had to keep it the way it was, uh, for whatever reason, I would do it and keep it for sure. Because it's just really nice the way it is. So it doesn't need any modifications. I just can't leave shit alone. So I modify things. Cancept Pelican. Definitely worth a look. Um... What do they run? I think they're 150, 160, maybe a bit more. Um, if you can get that for 150, you do it. Uh, jump on it. If it's one, you know, if it's higher, 180, 190, you're getting into where, yeah, there's there's maybe other things out there you might like better, but for 150, this would be great. You get it less than that, you're doing good. All right. Can't set Pelican. Have a nice day. So I thought I liked this knife a lot, you know, just the way it was. Um, and I do, but now I like it even more. If you could see how that blade shape is, how it compared, let's see if I can put the, how it normally is right above this. Can we focus? Jesus. All right, so we changed it, and then, <clears throat> fuck. Son of a bitch. Like becoming the guy who fucking cuts himself. <laughs> Tiny, tiny cut, no biggie. This one actually probably will stop. Probably won't have to use super glue on this one. <laughs> Dumbass. All right. Uh, okay, a little more pressure. You just apply pressure, man. That's all you got to do, pressure. So this blade is sharp. So pretty much stop bleeding. We're all good. Um... So you can see what I did here. I cut cut this down in more. You can tell because now it's down below that edge a little bit where it wasn't before. And that gives you a little bit extra leverage to pop it loose from the detent and get it to front flip. So you really do got to still give it a lot of oomph to get it to, to open. But at least it's doable before it just wasn't doable detent could be a little weaker but i don't know that might i'm not sure if that would help or not so i hate to mess with it um i sanded this whole top area you can see how i kind of rounded this area off so that it doesn't hurt your finger when it rubs or when it uh, pushes on it but this part i left mostly flat so you can kind of see the difference round it off it's more flat and then i left a little harpoon tip right there because freaking harpoons rule so that's kind of what I'm where I'm going to leave it for now. I like it a lot, even if it does bite me. I don't really care. I like this kind of roundedness instead of how it used to come up to kind of a point before. Uh, I used some darkening steel darkening agent, like a cold blue, and then mixed with some uh, what was it? Uh, some kind of acid. The etching acid you use on um, um, Damascus. I forget what that shit's called. We'll put it up here. So I mix those two together and it 
darkens it pretty well. It's just sort of a dark gray. It's not exactly black, but it's almost this color. But it's better than the shiny silver like it was when I was done cutting it. So there you go. Cansa Pelican uh, modified, but really great just the way it is too. Have a nice day.